Hello guys, so welcome. How are you guys doing? Yeah, you're welcome. So today I'm going to show you how to make this back neckline cow. Yes, fantastic. So here I have my back block and I have a waist dart. Now, if you don't have a waist dart, fantastic. But if you have a waist dart and you need to eliminate it, what you do is you take the 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 dart, yes, the, the space between the dart legs and mark it from the center back like so. And then you want to divide your shoulder by two. Yes, divide into two and then connect with a straight line to the waist yes at the center back so you have this <laughs> now you cut yes cut but don't cut you yes just like this make sure you just snap it a bit okay so you take another paper okay and then you want to lay that point remember we are trying to eliminate that right so put it at the edge of your paper like so and then move the top part of your paper until it touch the edge of the paper yes the paper underneath like so Okay, then you're going to mask it down. Yes, use your masking tape to mask it down. So can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> All right. So the next thing you want to do is you want to um, like uh, transfer the this pattern into the new paper. So you, you draw your neckline like so. And then for the shoulder, don't follow the sharp sh shape. No, just blend it. Yes, a bit, a bit curvy. Okay, just blend it. Okay, and then you draw your arm all to the side. <laughs> And then the next thing you want to do is uh, make just like a um, like a slant curve, okay, to that point where we eliminated the dart, okay. And then I will use a ruler to draw my my center back, <laughs> the way you saw me do it. So I'll use my ruler to draw my center back. Now it is very very important, okay. Before I say that, let me redraw it. <laughs> now it is very very important that you note each part of your pattern because it's going to be so it's going to be so confusing at the end of the day if you don't do this so mark every point the arm all the shoulder the the center back everything okay mark it out now you can decide that i want to add my sewing allowance on this new paper fine you can do that but here i did not add any sewing allowance see that white space that is where you cut on fold that is the mark of cut on fold yes that area you are saying okay <laughs> so the next thing you do is to cut out your pattern okay cut it out cut 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 out <laughs> okay so here you have it now imagine you did not put all this marking let me turn it so that you can see it it will be so confusing can you see <laughs> you'll be wondering where is the shoulder and all of that okay the next thing you want to do is to get your fabric now you're cutting on by okay so you fold your fabric and then you bring your pattern remember why I said you cut on fold yeah you put it on the folded part of your fabric okay and then you use your pin be careful be careful <laughs> so use your pin to hold down or anything just to hold it down okay and then you cut it out remember this has no sewing allowance you can decide to add your sewing allowance if you wish if you want okay yes you can always add to sewing allowance <laughs> you shouldn't do it without a sewing allowance okay so you cut 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 all right and then you cut don't remove the pattern yet just make sure that you know where the center back is at the neckline very important so so here is my mannequin okay so i'm picking the neckline at center from that point the neckline at center points as uh, center back and then i'm just pinning it so you can decide that you want a facing for this okay so you need to work out a facing for it okay so um you're facing you you have to trace it out okay so but set, but then if you if you have a very nice fabric you don't need a facing yes for the whole cow yeah you might not need a facing you might not need a facing okay so i'm still pinning here still pinning my mannequin okay now please note that the fabric i use here is not a drapery material no it is not drapery yes it is not drapery material but at least i can see the effect so fantastic see 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 see, see? oh my god now imagine you use a pandex material that um drapes a lycra is going to come out very lovely see fantastic now please don't forget to subscribe leave a thumbs up and share this video and also comment bye